very good day to you and uh, it's just wonderful to be with you again. I want to speak to you today about compromise. According to the Word of God, there is no compromise in the Bible. The Lord says you're either with Him or you're against Him. If we look at Ezekiel, this morning when I was having my quiet time, God spoke to me very clearly through the book of Ezekiel chapter 30 and verses 5 and 6. He says, Ethiopia, Libya, Lydia, and all the mingled people, and all the men of the lands who are allied, allied to Egypt, Egypt was standing against the Lord at that time, will fall with them by the sword. Friends, in this late time in which we live in, there is no more time for compromise. You cannot please two masters. Either you're with the Lord or you're against Him. And uh, if you look at Matthew chapter 12 and verse 30, that's explicitly what the Lord says. He who is not for me is against me. He who does not gather with me scatters abroad. We've really got to come down to it now. Are we going to be in God's camp or aren't we? And if we are, then we have to do things according to His word. You know, there's an old saying in English and it goes like this. You can't hunt with the hounds and run with the hares. Either you've got to be in one camp or the other. And uh, I found in my own life, the sooner that we make up our minds whether we're going to serve God or whether we're going to serve the world, the, e the easier for us. You know, people don't have to like you, my dear friend, but they must respect you. And they'll respect you if you stand for what you believe in. A man like that was John the Baptist. John the Baptist, he was a black and white man. There was no colored areas in him. Either he was for you, or he is against you. And God uses men like that and women to uh, propagate the gospel. John the Baptist had his head cut off by King Herod. And I want to say something to you. Herod didn't want to do it. He got himself in a compromised position where he was trying to please the people. And he also wanted to spare John's life because he secretly admired John. You don't have to be loved by everybody, but people need to respect you. They will always respect a man who stands up for what he believes in. John the Baptist believed in a life of holiness. He believed that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. And as a result, Herod secretly admired him. I know many men who don't particularly like certain Christians, men of God, because of what they stand for. But you know something? They respect them. And even more importantly, when there's a, a time when they have to give an account, they will always come to a, a man who is steadfast for what he believes in. They will not go to a compromiser. Folks, it's no good going into the pub, drinking with the boys, watching blue movies, and then expect people to come to you for counsel, for godly counsel. It's not going to work. We need to understand exactly what it is that God is calling us to. And especially young people. Young people like to follow and be mentored by men and women who have a heart for God. So I really want to encourage you today. Make sure that your yes is yes and your no is no. Let your amen be amen. And especially young people, stand up for righteousness, stand up for holiness, which is actually the end product of obedience. And God will bless you and He'll bless your future and your, uh, your dreams. But if you're going to start ducking and diving and compromising, there's no end to that. It's a steady slide all the way into hell. I want to encourage you today to recommit your life to the Lord. Say, Lord, from today onwards, all I'm going to do is what you've called me to do. No more. I'm not going to listen to men. I'm not going to follow the crowds. I'm going to be your man, your woman. I tell you what, you will have the most exciting life. God is looking for men and women that he can trust. Men and women who will not compromise. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.